दिस इज दी माश का हलवा और उर्द दर हलवा वेलकम टू स्कूल नेट वीडियोज योर यू हैव उर्द फ्ला वाटर मिल्क इलायची पाउडर दिस इज ऑप्शनल एग्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द उर्द दाल फ्ला इन अ बिग बोल योर इज ब्राउन शुगर यू कैन हैव वाइट शुगर ऑल्सो इट्स योर चॉइस एंड देन आई हैव यू बादाम स्लाइसड देन घी और क्लैरिफाइड बटर You need a whisker like this, or you can use a big spoon also. So we are going to mix the egg in the urad dal flour. I have taken two eggs for three cups of four cups of flour, then water and milk. I mean, you need a thin consistency, so you can add milk and water. half half like so that it gives that consistency then i am going to mix them all together so do this without any lumps so i'm adding some more water without <coughs> adding everything together little by little so that it is easier for you otherwise it may jam your whisker So now you have a proper consistency. It is not too thick, little bit runny like this. So when you get this, you are now ready for switching on the stove. So I'm adding your ghee. So like a uh, one cup of ghee, and then a half a cup of oil. You can add ghee if you want. the entire quantity you can add ki i'm adding a little bit oil also and then you have to fry these almonds this we get ready made here like this if you do not have then you have to cut the soak the almond and cut it into this or else you can even slice it just it, it just gives that crunchy taste in the halwa so slightly fry them so that it become it gets a golden brown color not over fry them you have to keep stirring like this otherwise the bottom portion that gets over fried so you want a equal color for all the the whole of the quantity so keep stirring like that So now it is completely done. We are going to add the mixture that we had prepared into this ghee. Pour this out entirely. I am having the flame little less. You can have medium flame for this. Put some water, and then I am not ready to leave even little of the batter left in the bowl. Putting it entirely into the pan keep a stirring it give it a whisk like this you are trying to incorporate all the ghee or oil that is there into the batter so that uh, it helps it in cooking so like this keep doing be gentle i have increased the flame now it don't get burnt so because i am keeping on 
stirring it so so you see i'm trying to get that ghee into the batter mixing it together i've taken a non-stick kadai it's better to have a non-stick kadai i remember my mother used to do it in a normal steel kadai it used to be so difficult it used to get deposited in the bottom and she has to keep on be scraping it out but this is very easy you can you need not be putting that much strain like how you do when you do a halwa the quantity is too high that i have taken about one kg of halwa this is because i have taken four cups of urad dal flour even though the quantity is high it will not be strenuous i make this and keep it store it in the refrigerator for about two three weeks and when you have to eat it just take the amount that you want from the refrigerator allow it to thaw otherwise you can even keep it in the microwave for 30 40 seconds and then you it will be ready for you to it will be as fresh as you prepared it just now so i prefer it doing that way i keep it in an airtight container so see if you could see now the entire ghee does got dry before it was so much there was liquid in, in that in there but here now it has become dry it just got stuck in my ladle so i'm removing it out and then now keep the flame medium it should not be high because it is completely dry so if you keep it high it may get burnt and i prefer cooking it like this close it and it cooks faster otherwise it is difficult so once in a while what i do after some time i remove the lid and then give it a stir because the down pick portion becomes brown and that crunchiness come exactly from this when you keep doing this allow it to become you know the bottom portion of the halwa becomes nicely crisp so that you have to break and include it in your halwa and then this process if you continue it will be it will have a nice soft when you eat it it will be soft plus you will have this crunchiness this crispness of the badam and then the halwa itself so i keep doing this i close it and then again i uh, toss it and bring the bottom portion up see you could see how it is brown light brown color and it gives a nice taste that um, you know that brown that roasted sort of flavor comes into your halwa this halwa has health benefits too it is very good for your for ladies especially it gives good strength for your pelvic portion so my mother used to make this often when i was in school this was a favorite evening snack so even you try this is brown sugar or white sugar i prefer less sugar i add like about 2 cups you can add more or less depending upon your you know how sweet you like the halwa to be then after once you have added the sugar if you have to be very careful you have to keep the flame medium because otherwise after adding sugar there is much more probability of the halwa to get burnt so keep the flame medium and keep tossing like this i am trying to get the entire sugar now after you start adding the sugar now till now the halwa was dry now what will happen is the halwa will become slightly liquidy because the sugar starts melting and later it will come to the proper consistency so do not worry about that do not think now it is like too much so here you get that beautiful brown color mashka halwa i remove little and show you how it looks look at the halwa that glossiness of the ghee and then the crispness that crunchiness that you get when you have a bite it is like so heavenly please try it it is easier also i have let just like decorated it with a badam 
so it is it is a healthy option instead of having something else even kids will love this halwa a lot my children love it it's easier to make and store and then you can have this healthy snack for children and as well as for you for both so if you like the video enjoy the halwa make it it's yummy and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to schoolnet